Hey guys, what's up? So like I said in my last vlog for last month, um, I went to Aaron's summer party and they had, you know, different vendors, different booths where you could buy things, where you could try things, all that sort of thing. And there's Mary Kay one and they had this lipstick that they had me try, right? Oh my goodness, I just fell in love with it. I was like, I never in a million years thought I'd try this shade, but I won't lie, I absolutely adore it. I couldn't find the color, I googled it, I tried asking other people who worked for it, I even asked the person who finally got in contact with me, who was actually at the booth, who let me try it, and she didn't even know the shade. And I was like, oh, okay, that doesn't really help. And so I went on a quest and I found it. It's Citrus Flirt. For anyone who's curious and you know I was like I don't think I'd ever try an orange lipstick but I actually really like it so thumbs up June wasn't too eventful I would pretty much just worked all of June um, I did take a spur of the moment kind of random trip down to Magna and hung out at the Great Salt Lake by myself so there's and oh my goodness I don't know if you guys are already seen the video is the video right before I posted that posted this one um, we got to ride Cannibal. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. So, something kind of devastating happened. You guys know my Kia glasses? I got them at Warp Tour last year, or last August, and I went on a roller coaster and I lost them. Oh, I was so sad because I love those things. I honestly don't know how I didn't feel them fall, but I didn't. Um, so, you know, I called Lagoon first thing and they're like, oh yeah, we have them. We just have a few questions. If you want to just come down and, you know, we can verify with your ears. What kind of questions are you guys going to ask me about that? Okay. So, you know, I agreed. Okay. So I'll come over and there it was. There was the weird look. Somebody's looking at me because I'm talking to myself. <laughs> um, so I'm like, okay, you know, I go down there and they're like, we don't have any glasses like that matching the description. And I was like, you guys just called me like 10 minutes ago while I was at my ride and I'm on break like what <laughs> so between you know in that 10 minutes they must have thrown them away and so that was sad I paid like a dollar for them so it's not that big a deal but whatever so I didn't have to work today obviously you know I'm not sweating I don't look like crazy um, <laughs> so I had a dentist appointment earlier today right so I went and I don't know if you guys noticed this, so I'm not sure if I've, talked, if I've talked about this in my other videos, probably not, but my two front teeth, I've chipped them somehow. I'm not really sure if I like was grinding my teeth when I was sleeping or what, but it does this like, it does this, if you can see. Um, so I talked to him finally today and I was like, you know, is there anything we can do about this, you know? And they gave me two options, you know, they can either file them down so that they're straight, of course, they will be really, really short, which I was like, eh, or I can get veneers. And I was like, veneers, like, that would be my first option. If not, then I would rather leave them than file them. So they're going to call my insurance and see how much it would be, and hopefully it won't cost an arm and a leg, but my fingers are crossed that I can get this done. I have just a quick rant also on my last note. Um, it's kind of towards my friends. There have been a lot of people going around to, you know, management and, you know, certain people at work saying that I'm harassing them. If you know me, you know that I just, I don't harass people. I don't, there's no need to. Like, I really don't care. Like, that makes me sound heartless almost. But, you know, I care about you. I care about your life. But at the same time, I don't. Like, I'm not going to be that person who's gonna go shame you you know talk about you what whatever whatever the case point being if you're gonna either spread rumors or you know start drama some kind of thing like that I'm gonna delete you I'm gonna block you I'm just gonna never talk to you again just telling you guys I'm at that point in my life where you know I can just cut things out and it's not worth it also if you're texting me like five times within two minutes and I'm not responding it's most likely because I'm busy or I just don't want to talk to you and you should take the hint. Um, I keep getting my phone blown up when I'm working doubles at work and I can't respond to you guys. So it's really hard and people get mad at me and I'm like, guys, I literally can't have my phone out. I'll get fired. I'll get written up. Like, no thank you. So all I'm asking is if you guys just please respect that and please understand. And also, like I said, I'm really not a mean person. But if I ask you to stop a certain behavior, or if I tell you, 
please don't do this, then please just stop. Like, it, you know, to a certain point, it's kind of funny where, like, you know, if somebody, like, tick tickles you and you're like, oh, stop, huh? and they keep doing it, oh, it's so funny. But if you're, you know, threatening to shut off a piece of machinery that I am working and I tell you, hey, don't do that, and you do it anyway, I'm probably going to be pretty mad. So, I mean, that's really all I'm asking. Um, kind of my pet peeves of the month. <laughs> so, please and thank you. I love you guys, and I will see you next month. And happy Independence Day.